solve the inequality? That is the question. And uh, the inequality is 2x minus 4 less than or equal to 3. That is the inequality we have to solve. Then another question says, use number line to represent your answer. We have to use number line to represent our answer. So after you are, we have solved the inequality, we have to represent whatever answer we get on the number line. Now let's look at the solution. This is the question given. 2x minus 4 less than or equal to 3. Now the next step to take is to add plus 4 to both sides. How did we come across this uh, my plus 4? Look at this minus 4 here. We need to take away this minus 4 and the only thing you can use to take away this minus 4 is the opposite of this minus 4 which is plus 4. When you add plus 4 to minus 4 definitely it will be 0. That is why it is minus 4 uh, plus 4 that we are adding to both sides. So putting this plus 4 in the expression look at what we have 2x minus 4 plus 4 less than or equal to 3 plus 4. Remember we said we add to both sides, not one side alone. As we've added plus 4 here, it will also appear here. So, this minus 4 plus 4 it will go, giving 0. That is why we have 2x here. Then, less than or, or equal to 3 plus 4 is 7. After this, the next step is to divide both sides by 2. Why? We need x. We want to get the value for x. And we have 2x here. To take away these two, thereby leaving x for all, we need to divide both sides by 2. So, doing that, we have 2x, the expression as we have it there. So, we divided by 2. 2 in this side, 2 in this side as well. 2 here is taking care of these two, leaving only x. Then 2 in 7. That is three and a half. A trio number one all over two. So the answer now is x is less than or equal to three and a half. Now the second question which required us to show our answer on the number line. These are number line. This is zero. To this side we have positive one, two, three, four, and so on. To the other side we have negative one, two. 3 and so on. Uh, we need plus 3 and a half. The, look at the 3 and a half that we have. It's not minus. It is positive 3 and a half. So it should be to this side. This is 3. This is 1. This is 2. This is 3. And this is 4. 3 and a half should be in between 3 and 4. So this is 3 and a half. Then the, this circle and this arrow showing that our x is less than three and a half but not ordinary less than it is less than or equal to that is why this circle here is shaded that is the indication that it is less than or equal to three and a half so that is it thank you so much you can subscribe after watching this video in order so I will be aware whenever we drop another video. Thank you.